and you open your mouth and give him what he deserves. When the situations try to cover your mouth, when you self pass the situations, when you self pass a mask, what you got? What can contain your praise? What can stop your praise? How many situations or circumstances can it take to stop your sound? What is going to take to stop your praise? What can stop your praise? Hallelujah. One scripture said nothing can separate it. So what you going to let stop your praise? What you going to let stop your sound of praise? What you going to let? Come on and magnify him. Lift him up higher. Exalt his name. Oh, come on, give him all he deserves. Somebody ought to call his name. Call his name. Hallelujah. Pastor said one time, it should be one, one day, one opportunity, one minute, one second, that you don't just shout the name. Put his name in the midst of your situation. Put his name in the midst of your trial. Even if it's all good, put his name in the midst of the good times. Put his name in the midst, praise him.
Do we agree that there's power in his name? There is power in his name. So much so that the people was almost afraid to call it. The people were afraid almost to say it. There's so much power in the name. There's so much power in the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody just shout it, Yahweh. Somebody shout it, Yahweh. There's so much power in that name. See, a lot of times we rehearse our situations and we give our situations power because we want to keep thinking about them and we want to keep bringing them up. We want to keep rehearsing what happened. We want to keep rehearsing where I'm at. But if you begin to call on the name Yahweh, if you begin to open up your, not your mouth and give praise to him, if you begin to open up your mouth and put his name in the place of that situation, put his name in the place of that circumstance, I believe you will begin to get a revelation that there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of your Lord. And you will begin to see that there is power and all I got to do is begin to rehearse, begin to rehearse, begin to declare that name, begin to proclaim that name, begin to open my mouth and shout that name. Hallelujah. Praise him. Let's say it. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. Come on. There's nothing 
okay to praise him. His name is Jesus. Amen. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the Holy Spirit in you wants to acknowledge Jesus. The Holy Spirit in you wants to, needs to, has to, must honor Jesus. Come on. Amen. Come the Holy on. Spirit. It doesn't matter if you're listening to a song on the radio. It doesn't matter if you are watching on TV. It doesn't matter if you're on the job. Yeah. Whenever the presence of the Lord yeah. is in a room, in a place, in a space, the Holy Spirit acknowledges Jesus. We call him Jesus. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter what your sin is. Jesus was acknowledged by sinners. Amen. We got to understand that it's not just the righteous that acknowledges Jesus. If you read your Bible, Jesus passed through the coast, Decapolis, ten cities, and the sinners ran after him. The church folks stood back. They stood back with their arms folded, their head tilted sideways, wondering, we righteous, you know, what is this? But the sinners ran after him by the, by the thousands, in so much that Jesus had to get in a boat just to preach to them. The church folk was up on a hill somewhere trying to find fault because it wasn't how they was used to God coming through. Come on. And the sinners were the ones that would holler out, Hosanna, yeah. which Come means on. stop by here. Hey. Hosanna. It was the sinners that hollered out, Jesus. Yeah. And they couldn't be made to be quiet. Yeah. It was the sinners that were hollering and calling up on his name and pressed up on him. Said if I could just touch the hem of his garment. It wasn't the church folk. It was the sinners that had incurable diseases, habits and sickness that said, I got to get close to this man. Jesus is a friend of people whose lives are not straight. So, if you got any religion in you, it'll show up at this time. Did you hear me? Yeah. I said, if you got any religion in you, because what religion do is say, I'm good enough. Yeah. I don't need to get into the glory. That's what it does. You check yourself because you'll say, I'm all right. I don't think I need to press in. I got enough. I had enough to drink. 
But when you are thirsty, you jump in. Yeah. You lose your shame. Because it's not a man that's passing by. It's Come Jesus on. that's passing by. Yeah. Do you hear me? Why don't you just lift your hands wherever you are? Yeah. Those of you who may be watching, you can lift your hand. Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me before this crooked generation, this adulterous generation, it means a generation that's serving other gods. I'm going to be ashamed of you. Come on, just lift your hands, wave your hands, open your voice, and call his name. His name is Jesus. Say, stop by here. Stop by my house. Stop by my mind. Stop by my temple. Stop by my, this soul. Stop by my condition. Stop by my health. Stop by my situation. Jesus, call his name somebody. His name is Jesus and he shall save his people. Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Amen. He's close. Wherever his name is mentioned, that's where he comes. That's why we call him the omnipotent God and the omnipresent God, which means he's everywhere. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he can be with you and me at the same time. But I do know it's through the power of the Holy Spirit. But it's a mystery. But he can be as much with you as he is with me. So when you call his name, he right there. Hallelujah. Let's call his name one more time. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Clap your hands for him. Praise his name. Amen. Say it one more time, just a little bit more. Yes. Yahweh, Yahweh. Come on, praise him, say it. So we lift you high. One more time. We so we lift you high, yeah. Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh, how sweet is the name. Thank you, Jesus. You, Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh. We lift you, we lift you high. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yahweh is not a strange name. It's not some kind of cult name. Amen. It is.